Oh my god, we... <laughs> I watched the river fill our yard and turn the whole yard where my kids, this little building is, into a lake. Uh, it was really quite something because the river like appeared, it just, like I could hear it roaring and then suddenly it was in the yard and then the water started rising and the goat was over there on the hill and I was like, Isaiah, you gotta move the goat and then he moved the goat and then we looked back down and the water was still rising and I said, you guys are, you gotta get out of there and so they came up and by the time they left, the water was up to Brooklyn's chin and um, Five feet deep. Uh, yeah, it uh, it was pretty frightening. I spent all night looking out the window to make sure it wasn't rising up to my little building, which is up the hill, and we all just kind of huddled in there, waiting for the water not to rise. <laughs> it was crazy. So about 7 o'clock, I looked out. My dog was in two feet of water. By the time I was like, Isaiah, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? It was to my waist and coming up into the house. And so grabbing our dinner and bags of like what we could use now and blankets to get it to my mother-in-law's, we were basically swimming through the water. The whole yard was just water. My cars was underwater. We looked back and within seconds, there was no land. We were recovered. Yeah, it it was quick. so scary. It was frightening. It's concerning because it happened really fast. We couldn't have been able, we, wouldn't have, we couldn't leave even if we'd wanted to. By the time the water was rising, the driveway and the road, it was all a lake. Everything was getting submerged. Mm -hmm. Both our vehicles soaked. What time of day was this? It was right at dusk. I looked at my text because I was texting down the hill because it was raining so loud we couldn't hear each other. And um, it, meant, it was like 15 minutes between the, the, the river coming over the hill and along the edge of the property and the goat getting stranded and then Isaiah coming back down. And it, it was really fast. That was what was scary. And then it was, it was just, it, it actually, the water was under my little place, which is, it's high. I mean, I don't know, 20 feet up the hill elevation wise. It's... It's quite a climb. So there was some depth here. It was, it was like a lake. Did at any time you consider uh, evacuating? We wouldn't have been able to leave if we could, and we knew that, that nobody could get into us either. It was, like if, if my building hadn't been there, I think the kids would have had to go up on the roof. It was really that dramatic. I live here three years now, and I've never seen it down, down poor like that. Never seen it. And walked out to the road, there was no road. All you could see was water gushing down, water just everywhere was water. No land. And it was pretty scary. Definitely frightening. I want to move. <laughs> I don't want to be in this low land. I, it's something I never encountered before. It was scary. What What's with the water flow across this property and across the road? We've never seen this. We don't know whether somebody up the hill bulldozed something and changed the direction of the water or perhaps the spillway up at South Kulani overflowed. I don't know. I just know that it, the river was a good 10 feet wide and it was like head height. I mean, we couldn't, if we had tried to walk out there, we would have gotten swept away. It, it was, it was crazy. Are you glad you had family nearby? Yes, I really wouldn't know what I would do. I was just thinking about it. I mean, yeah, we could be on the roof, but there's lightning and everything all night long. So where would we go? And I know you say like thinking about evacuation, but how could the helicopters come in with the lightning? And there's no cars that could come down the road. There was no access here. We were stuck. What happened to your animals? They died. They the, got they the drowned. The water came down it so came fast, fast. It, it rose up inside the coop. The, the river behind, the little creek behind their place overflowed. You can, we can look at the grass. I don't know. The birds must not have had time to get to their roost because yeah. there was a roost in, a, in nest boxes. But six of them, I found them in the corner of the, just all dead, all drowned. It was really awful.